Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Skylanders Imaginators. This is part number five, I do believe, of my Let's Play, and I am now playing as Master Kingpen, who is a, a penguin, by the looks of things. A penguin with a lot of armor, as you can see. The size of my heart. I'm pretty sure it's large, though. <laughs> right then, so uh, let's start off by opening a whole load of these chests. Look at this! They're piling up, they're almost going to fall off. Look at all of these! I have so many things. So let's just go and uh, uh, blast through all of these. And uh, yeah, then we can uh, go and uh, head off uh, somewhere new. And uh, yeah, start battling some some more of the uh, the, the bad guys. So what happened in the last episode again? Can you remember? I think that I think we, we got information about where um, Chaos was heading off to. And I think we're, we're basically just trying to, to track him down to. But I can't. I can't actually remember where it was that he was heading to, so <laughs> I guess, uh, yeah, I guess we're, we're going to find out. Luckily, the uh, the game kind of just leaves a, a trail for for you to, to follow, and then you can just go and follow that, and uh, yeah, you know exactly uh, where you uh, you need to, to head to. And, uh, oh, what's well, that? I got like a fruit fueled set. <laughs> Mighty Melon Guards. Very handy. Uh, get additional creation pieces for your imaginators. Oh yeah, I can't do that yet. All right then, let's um, let's go and follow the the trail. Then all oh, look, there's loads of different places I could go to. What's this guy? Hello, little robot. Hello. Um, Skylanders Creator App. Transfer your imaginators to the Skylanders Creator App to share your creations and purchase imaginator cards. Okay. No, thank you, but thanks for letting me know about it. <laughs> I appreciated seeing the uh, the cute little robot coming down, at least. And I got some athletic legs as well. I've always wanted athletic legs, you know. <laughs> and now I finally have them. Well, that was the um, that was the the Mushroom River place. That's where we head to before. So it looks like I'm supposed to go this way. I thought I would introduce myself and mention that there's an elemental gate just up a holler. Why not see if you can get it open? Uh, I give it. So I need to be. I need to be. I don't. I don't think I've got any. Um. Any Earth Skylanders. So I don't think I can open that one up yet. But I can come back to to that later. And are these? Is this an enemy? What's this person? Hello. Are you okay? <laughs> it's like a vulture with a, a jetpack. But aha! This. That was it. I need to go to Scholarville. Because that's where we can find out about how to use the Imaginite. I remember now, it's the mysterious, no, the secret place of secrets or something, isn't it? So, yeah, I now, I now have been, uh, <laughs> filled in by myself about what we're trying to, to do next. And whoa, looks like, uh, there's a lot going on here. It seems like chaos has arrived before us, as he, uh, as he so often does. Oh, Skylanders, despite being sworn to secrecy, I must tell you something. Our fair city is under attack! Uh, yeah, we kind of gathered that. Any sign of chaos? Well, being sworn to secrecy as I am, I can neither confirm nor deny the existence of chaos. But if he did exist, he would be inside that castle right there. And I'm pretty sure that he'd be looking for the everlasting thinking cap. If that existed too. Then that's where we are headed. Although Spyro, can you do anything about these ships blasting the town? Of course I can. Oh, you want me to do it right now? Gotcha. So are these guys that just need to keep secrets about absolutely everything? Because that's the uh, that's the way it seems, right? Then this is um. Skylanders are This is the uh, the the Scholar Town Square. No, no. Step away. Step away. No, no. Don't do that move. Run away. <laughs> right then. So so what 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 can I do then as as Kingpin? So I got my giant like blade arms, and it seems to be like ice attacks. And of course it's ice attacks. It's a penguin. Then he does like this blowing ice attack, and they're the only moves I have so far, uh, but hopefully I'll be able to, to get a few more a little bit later on. But before we do that, let's take a selfie. Right, there we go. That will do. <laughs> I think I'm going to gradually take less and less time doing these these selfies the further I go through the game. And look at the way he walks. <laughs> He's very proud. It's like, hop to, hop to, here we go. One, two, coming through, Kingpin. Right, let's uh, let's have a little look around here then. Are there any, uh, any secrets? Oh, there's got to be a secret behind here. Oh, can I not get behind there? Oh no, there's an invisible wall. I was sure there's going to be a secret bird behind there. But can I speak to, to any of these people? Uh, more, it looks like I can go inside of here. It seems to be like a parrot shop. <laughs> Is there anyone here that I can speak to? The Skylander. Nope, you're just going just gonna to let me smash up all of your stuff then. I hope you don't mind that. Like, imagine if this was real life. 
and there's all of this danger going on in the town. They're being attacked, and then you hear that the heroes are showing up to save the day, and they just come in and smash up all of your furniture and steal things from your obviously locked up chest. Smash, 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 potato! Like, there's a reason all of these jewels have been locked up, probably to stop someone from stealing them. And then old King Pen swaggers in like this and just steals absolutely everything. Is it supposed to be a penguin, though? I don't think it is supposed to be a penguin. No, it kind of has penguin colours, but I don't think uh, I don't think it is. Like it has penguin qualities, but those definitely aren't uh, penguin flippers. So I don't know what I'm uh, supposed to, to be, but <laughs> some sort of bird, of course. Right then, let's go and start taking out these guys. Let's try the um, that powerful ice attack. It seems like it would do a lot of damage, but um. It's quite slow to use. Oh, I properly freeze them. I can freeze them in place, right? This is going to be good for if there's like one really um strong enemy. I can freeze the strong enemy while I go and take out all of the, the weak ones. But um, there's like a, a gap over there. And it looks like there's things on the other side. But I have no idea how I'm supposed to, to get over there. Is there any like magic I can use or anything? Uh, nope, uh, doesn't seem like it. So let's uh, not worry about that. Uh, let's just go and keep uh, heading uh, across this way. And it looks like we need to to get across a, a spinning wheel. I know, does it change directions as well? Okay, that's even trickier because I'm going to be going in one direction that I need to, to quickly switch in order to, to go the, the other way. I know. Oh, I think, I think this is one of the, the things where I've got to get the timing, isn't it? Right. I need to stop the dial while it's in the uh, the, the colored lights. And then I get a whole load of money at the uh, the, the end of it. So uh, there we go. I was able to, to do that pretty successfully. And uh, yeah, I got a, a new chest added to the, the, the vault. Uh, ready to, to be stacked up again. And we get some pretty awesome music to, to boot. And oh, look, this is a cool place for a selfie. <laughs> it's funny because I'm like the, the, the bird with all of the, the, the fish as well. Let's try and get a, a good one here. Uh, there we go. Beautiful selfie. And then I do have a gallery, so if I wanted to, do, I could go and uh, have a look through all of these later on. I don't know how much time I'm going to spend doing that, but it's something that I could do. And oh no, I nearly broke open the uh, the fish tank then. That wouldn't be a <laughs> very uh, heroic of me, would it? Right then, let's go and try and run across this then. If I stay on it, then I might be able to get all of the money. But let's, uh, let's hit this and then kind of back off for a little bit. Uh, grab this money, and then there we go. I can go and jump across. And ah, if I thought the last one was difficult... This one is uh, is covered in spikes. Let's try and run through the gap. And beautiful. No problems whatsoever. Like, I'm quite a slow Skylander at the moment. Sick of cannonballs. It does give me an idea, though. If we can get to that cannon, we can launch ourselves over to the castle. What could go wrong? Um, well, I guess at least I am a bird. So if I am launched through the sky, like, hopefully he'd have a little bit of flight. I don't know how much flapping he can do with those giant blades, though. He's not, um, <laughs> he's not particularly aerodynamic. And I want to be careful here. So I need to avoid all of these, uh, these cannonballs uh, while also getting through all of these, uh, these explosives if I can. So let's just go and set these off and then back off. Oh, I only just about avoided that one. Oh, no, no, not yet, not yet, not yet. And go, 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 go. There we go. I got through the, the, the cannonballs. And I guess we then need to, to launch ourselves as, I was going to say human cannonballs, but it's not. It's as uh, a bird cannonballer, I guess. No, is there, is, there, is there something down here? No, I, th I think that uh, there isn't, but I thought there's a secret down there. I haven't found any proper secrets yet so far, apart from kind of going inside of the houses. Right then, for this, what I want to do is I need to, to get my little character to the end, but first I want to, to link up all of these purple things. So uh, how am I going to do that? I can kind of do it here, but I'm almost <laughs> in the, the way a little bit because uh, I'm kind of stuck with them all. So let's see if I can get me out the way. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, no, no. I want to get me completely out the way. So let's do that. And then, okay, no, I'm still kind of stuck in the, the middle of them, aren't I? Oh, here we go. I can get them in this uh, this uh, top corner over here, uh, like that. There we go. I got them all nicely linked up. And now I just need to, to get to the end like that. There we go. So that means that I get uh, myself an extra chest added to the vault and another chest here. This has just become the game of chess now, hasn't it? Mash, 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 potato. Like the whole game is all about getting either chest full of money or, um, or chest full of kind of all of the uh, the other goodies the imaginite or whatever it's called isn't it <laughs> right then let's uh let's launch myself with the cannon oh no okay well i almost was able to launch myself with the cannon but then i ended up falling down there's so many explosive things there's all of these little bombs all over the place and then the the cannonballs getting fired as well but i like that freezing move that freezing move is really effective because if i just do that straight away and get them all stuck then you know then i'm fine something else i um i seem to to realize uh, before i started is that 
I think that I can um, just upgrade uh, upgrade whenever I want uh, without getting uh, without having to, to go to um, uh, was it Persephone I think her name was the uh, the the fairy I don't think I need her in order to, to upgrade anymore I think I can just do it whenever I want so uh, let's grab this money here then let's see if there's uh, any upgrades I can uh, I can do uh, to, to master King Pen now so look yeah I can just go to upgrade and I can upgrade whenever I want this is very, very handy. So uh, let's go and do this. Let's go and add the triangle move. So uh, the penguin drill, this one's called. And then can I afford anything else? Yeah, I can afford either of these two. So I can increase the damage of the, the drill or hold circle to uh, um, expand an ice charge to summon a ring of ice. Uh, Kingpin has increased armor and damage while inside the ice arena. That sounds like the better one. Let's go and uh, buy that one, seeing as I can afford it. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's give it a little bit of a, of a test now before we head across. So I need to to hold circle apparently. Oh, it doesn't seem to it didn't seem to do anything when I held circle. What does it say again? Hold circle to expand an ice charge. I mean, I'm holding circle, but my ice charge doesn't seem to to be expanding. Okay, well. Maybe I just wasted my money. <laughs> Not sure what's going on there. Maybe it needs to be around an enemy or something. Oh, but I need to aim and fire. Uh, Command ship A or secret island. Secret island, I say. <laughs> Can't say no to, to that, can we? It looks like we're going to have to go across the, the, the ship anyway. But let's go and uh, uh, check out this uh, this secret island first and see uh, what's so secret about it. It doesn't seem particularly secret. Mash, 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 potato. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem so secret uh, when they call it secret island. You know, it's kind of like, <laughs> it's kind of giving away the secret. But seeing as this is the place of secrets, maybe it just happens to be called secret island and it isn't actually secret. It doesn't seem very secret anyway. All right then, uh, I think we go up here. And then this is going to, to launch us kind of... Is this going to lead us back to the cannon? Oh, look, now I can slide down onto the, the boat. That was definitely the uh, the, the better way to, to do things. And I'm, I keep holding circle, but I'm not... It's not charging up at all. I seem to just be doing the, the, the same attack. Let's try doing it near some enemies. He's just doing the, the exact same attack world for some reason. Very peculiar. I wish I uh, <laughs> I wish I got the upgrade to the, the other move. Because this move seems pretty good as it is. I think that's going to be the next thing I get. Is the upgrade to this uh, this drill attack. Because uh, that seems to to kind of launch me really far. Which is handy. And it seems to, to do quite a lot of damage at the uh, the, the same time as well. So it would be good to uh, to upgrade that. And oh there we go. I, I, I was able to, to do then How... How did I get it to work then? I, I managed to do the, the arena once somehow, but I have no idea how I did it. But <laughs> at, le at least I know it does work. Do I need to, to jump and do it? I have no idea how I was able to, to do it that time. Maybe I got to like keep pressing it rather than holding it or pushing in a direction or... Oh, okay. I think I do the normal move, then keep holding it, and then I do the arena one. Right. I think I was just doing it wrong. <laughs> As always, it ends up being my mistake rather than the, uh, the the game mistake. And what's this thing? Whatever it is, it's pretty angry. And it seems to have not one, but two missile launchers on its tail, which is uh, <laughs> a little bit threatening. And whoa, it's giant as well. It's huge. I didn't realize it was that big when it was that far away. Right then, I've learned how to make my arenas. I do the uh, the, the normal attack, and then I just do the, the other attack. So what I want to try and do is, if I can, is to, to trap this guy in my arena. Because it looks like... I can't freeze him. It uh, looks like, uh, uh, yeah, I can't um, uh, freeze him like the, uh, the other ones. But there we go. I was able to, to take him out anyway. But I reckon we're going to end up getting loads of them. And oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do the gong battle yet. Right, looks like we're uh, <laughs> jumping straight into to a gong battle then. All right, let's try and do the, the arena move. It's not doing it now. I'm now holding circle and it isn't doing it for some reason. Do I do the, the normal attack and then do it? I don't know. Let's just uh, <laughs> make it so I do it randomly every now and then when it when it actually ends up working. <laughs> I still haven't probably worked out exactly what I'm supposed to do. But just freezing them seems to be really effective. Freezing them and then doing the, the dash or the, the, the ground pound. That seems to, to, to be a really effective way uh, to, to take them out really quickly because not only does it do a lot of damage because because they're frozen it means they're not doing damage against you either which is a uh, very very handy and there we go i made the arena but i was the only one in it so it didn't really uh, help me very much but there we go i was able to, to complete the uh, the the gong battle let's go and get all of these rewards and i now have a, a little mini pile of chests <laughs> over here which i can go and start opening which one shall i open first they're like taking it in turns to, to bounce up and down <laughs> right oh we got some rare imagine like from this one we got some uh some leather shoulder guards. We've got uh, a new set complete as well, which is uh, rather handy. And uh, yeah, that gives me a, a bonus item as well. And uh, now let's go and uh, open up this one. And inside of this one, we got only common, uh, but sometimes the common ones are more fun. Anyway, we got a stud punch, which um, 
Brilliant. I've always wanted to stud punch, and now I have one. <laughs> right, let's go and grab the other uh, little bit of extra money around here. And actually, I think I'm uh, I'm ready for some more upgrades now, aren't I? I love just being able to upgrade whenever I want. Uh, let's go and get the uh, the Giga Drill then. This is the the thing uh, that makes the uh, the Penguin Drill more powerful. Oh, it is called Penguin Drill. Is this supposed to be a penguin? Maybe it is, maybe it's supposed to be just like a like I don't think it's an Emperor Penguin or anything. Maybe it's just a type of penguin I haven't seen very much. Um. Uh, maybe it's a king penguin? Is that a thing? I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, where, where are we supposed to go? I guess we go through uh, this door here next. Aha! We are now inside of the uh, the engine room of the, the, the boat. And it looks like we have a bit of a puzzle here. So what are we... What are we trying to do? So it looks like we have the engine there. And we're trying to power the other things. So do I just push these both forwards? Is that it? Okay, well that wasn't much of a puzzle. <laughs> but oh well, I was able to, to work it out and then that can go and uh, launch me through the, uh, the the top here. And I think I found a less dangerous method of travel here. Provided of course you don't fall. So jump on and don't fall. I've just thought because I have the Spyro and Stealth Elf Skylanders. If I played as them, would there just be two stealth elves and two Spyros? <laughs> because, like, they're in the story as well, and, like, you can just play with them as your Skylander. So I wonder if I could just go and double them up. I might actually go and, uh, and try that in a future episode, just to see if we can have a bunch of stealth elves and Spyros all running around the place. And it looks like, oh, oh I fell down. Okay, <laughs> I accidentally fell in the, uh, the the water there. I didn't even realize that was a proper gap there. All uh, right then, let's go and open up this. We've got some more Imagini and we got a new head. Oh yeah, we've got a uh, Amazonian head. <laughs> I kind of, I keep forgetting that this is going to be used just to, to kind of create my own Skylanders, you know, rather than... You know, rather than just to, to kind of decorate existing Skylanders. Well, you kind of are doing that, but you can just change them so much. You know, you can literally put a different head on them. <laughs> uh, can I go up? Can I go up to, to here? Is that like a, is that a secret area? Is that somewhere where I've been before? Can I go around this way? Let's see if I can. Well, let's go right up to the top. Oh, actually, no, I think I might need to jump off when I'm moving. Can I jump up to here? There we go. Sensei of the sorcerer class can open this shrine. Oh, I need to be a sorcerer. Right, let's go and uh, uh, switch back over to, to Dr. Neo Cortex. And then we can go and uh, open up this shrine. Because I think uh, this is going to be able to uh, to make it so he can use his really powerful special move. Because uh, the uh, the last time I played at him, I didn't really get any uh, any chance to, to use that. So let's go and um, uh, let's go and uh, and do this. And uh, yeah, let's go and get his, uh, his special move. Ah! There we go. So I have now uh, unlocked his uh, his sky chi power. So uh, yeah, when it's full, we can use that. So let's uh, let's actually play as him till the the end of the the episode because I have upgraded him as well since the the, the last episode. So I have uh, unlocked uh, a few more moves for him, uh, which I haven't had much of a. Uh, a chance to, to play around with. So I thought I'd uh, show them off to you. And uh, yeah, just play as a him for uh, just a little bit, uh, just uh, to have a little bit of, a little bit of fun. So uh, let's uh, let's go and see if we can fight some enemies. So I think one of them, he's got like a, um, it's kind of like a hoverboard type thing. I gotta, I gotta remember how to, to use it. So he can throw these mines like that, and then they blow things up. And then I'm sure he had like, he could like fly and something. I can't remember. Can't remember how I uh, how I did it. But yeah, let's uh, let's just wait until I get into a, into a battle, and then yeah, we can go and try and take some uh, some people out. And I want to see what my uh, what my sky chi move is, because uh, the Crash Bandicoot one was uh, was pretty crazy. So I want to see what this one's uh, this one's move is. Let's just go and use it now. I know it's probably not the the best time to use it, because there's not many episodes. But let's uh, uh, not many enemies. Sorry, but let's uh, go and do this. Oh look, I just control a giant laser. I can just go and like destroy everything around me. That is crazy powerful. But oh no, there's still some bombs. I should probably start moving now. <laughs> How did I? Oh, there we go. Look at this. Look at this. I, I ride around on like this little flying hoverboard thing for for a little bit of a, of a while. <laughs> Not too bad. Can I go inside of here? I know, but looks like uh, that place uh, is locked shut. And what's going on over here? Looks like there's some sort of uh, of minecart track there. Uh, but let's go and. Uh, Let's go and do this. I want to be careful because I need to, to jump over this beam as I go and start going across to the, the other side. Uh, but then I should be safe to, to grab these and then jump up to, uh, yeah, up to, to this side here. Let's go and grab uh, a little bit more of this uh, uh, this um, uh, this money. And uh, um, can I blow this up? Is this going to... 
Is this going to reveal a secret, do you reckon? I think it has. I think I can go now inside of uh, of here, and uh, we can go and grab these. And oh, it's one of these uh, these weird egg claw game things uh, again, isn't it? <laughs> uh, let's go and grab this uh, this soul gem from uh, from here. And uh, let's uh, not worry about looking at it now, but let's go and use this thing. So these are... Rescue. Yeah, I need to, to shoot the uh, eggs. The, uh, the crates out of the way. And then I need to, as he said, rescue the eggs. <laughs> right, so let's go and uh, take out these. Uh, we can do these uh, these boxes as well. And oh yeah, no, I need to shoot out the uh, the lasers protecting the eggs. That's what I needed to do, wasn't it? So let's go and, uh, and uh, destroy that and uh, take out these little guys. And there we go. That is one egg rescued. Let's destroy that. That is egg number two rescued. And I reckon I can uh, get this one before this little guy shows up. But let's uh, take him out all of the, the same and then go crazy destroying all of the boxes just uh, for good fun as well. <laughs> I like these little fun mini games. I can tell they're going to like keep gradually getting harder and harder. Uh, but already uh, they are they are pretty good fun. And now I've got a, uh, another chest added uh, to my vault uh, as well. But uh, sadly, uh, we have just about run out of time of this, uh, this episode here. So in the next episode, I'm going to start off again as Dr. Neo Cortex just for a little bit, just to, to play around with his new moves for a little bit. And then I'm going to go back to, to Master King Pen uh, as well uh, to try and unlock some uh, some new moves for, for them as well. But uh, sadly, as I said, that is the end of this episode here. As I always do, there will be a link down in the description uh, to the, the next episode. So uh, who knows, maybe it's there already and you can go and watch that straight away. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye!